Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. My name is Adam, and uh, full confession from the beginning, this is gonna be one of the most random videos we have ever made here on our channel. Because I'm about to say some words that as a 40 year old man, I never ever ever thought I would say. Because today, we're making a charcuterie board for our cat. I know you probably have a lot of questions and honestly so do I but I want to start this video by saying mom if you're watching I know you're proud you don't even have to say it this is what you dreamed of for your son so let me explain why the heck I'm doing this so you guys know that Sherry and I have been doing keto and one of the things that we've been eating a ton of are charcuterie boards just lots and lots of meat lots of cheeses lots of olives and I was making one the other day and Missy was like on the stairs watching me and I thought oh, I bet Missy would like something like this and then I just like looked up and I was like, like divine inspiration. I thought YouTube needs this. And so I went on YouTube and I was like, there's gotta be lots of videos about this. And I couldn't find anything. And so I thought, you know what? Maybe this is, maybe this is my destiny. I have found my calling to bring cat charcuterie boards to the world. Charcuterie boards, Sherry, do you <laughs> like that name? Oh boy. Charcuterie boards, I'm calling it right now and so i've had so much fun like figuring out what the heck would go on this finding recipes putting stuff together and all of that so let's just jump into this so the first thing you need with any charcuterie board is the board itself now we could be lame and just use like a plate but our cat deserves better than that gosh darn it so we have this wood plank because i think that there's some sort of rule that charcuterie boards have to be on like wood planks or like pieces of stone or rock so this is going to be the base for her charcuterie board also let's just check in with her missy girl missy do you wait why are you leaving do you even know what's about to happen Okay, well, I hope she's more interested than that later. Now, this charcuterie board is going to have five items on it. You know, one of the things that we love about boards is that there's not a lot of prep. There's not a lot of cooking that has to go into them. And so there's only a couple things that we're going to cook and make for this. Those two things are a piece of Alaskan salmon. I'm going to bake that in the oven for her. And then I'm going to make some tuna cheese crackers. Because you can't have a charcuterie board without, like, some crackers on there, right? but I couldn't find any cat crackers. So I was like, well, let's make them. So we're gonna make our own, <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. We're gonna make our own cat crackers and then we're gonna have some little baby bay shrimp cut up there, uh, placed beautifully on the charcuterie board, of course. Then we're gonna have some crab that's cut up. And then we have like a canned chicken pate that we're gonna put on the board. So we're gonna put it all out on her. It's gonna be beautiful and wonderful. And fingers crossed her response is better than, well, it's better than that one. First thing we're gonna make are these crackers. Now I went online, I found some recipes that looked pretty simple. So it's honestly not gonna take many ingredients. I just got a little bit of flour here. I've got a can of tuna with the juice. And then I'm gonna put some cheese in mine only because you can't have a charcuterie board without cheese. And I figured that one of the easiest ways to add cheese to this was just to add it to the cracker, right? Cheez-Its are delicious. Uh, one thing that's kind of fun to know about Missy is that she loves Cheetos. We were eating a bag of Cheetos upstairs one time and she just like went crazy. We're just like, apparently our cat loves Cheetos. So fingers crossed she likes the cheese in there. I do wanna say, I did go online, I looked and made sure that all of these items that we're giving Missy that I'm putting on this board are safe for her, they're not toxic for cats. So I've done my research. Uh, now let's start making our tuna and cheese crackers. We're gonna take the lid off our flour here and then I don't even know amounts on this. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna use about half a cup of flour in our bowl. And now we're gonna run into a problem because as soon as I open this tuna, Missy is probably going to appear right down here and start yelling her face off. But she has to wait because art and food takes time. I think we have a vi What do you got going on? You heard, I know, you're gonna, hey, hey, you're gonna have to wait, okay? Your charcuterie board takes time. Your order is in, but it's gonna take some time. Also, you guys, I know, I know. Don't be jealous of the blue Crocs. Missy, can I please get back to making your crackers? Thank you. So obviously we need some liquid in there just to make this into a dough. I'm gonna use the tuna juice. 
something I never in my life thought I would say. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna need to add water. Added a little bit of water, that's better. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit of cheese in there. How much? I don't know. I hope there's nobody actually following these recipes. How, like, this is not a recipe tutorial video. This is a, it's Saturday, I'm bored, and I wanna treat my cat video. So this looks pretty good. It's like a nice sticky dough. Everything is kind of together. Look at that, perfect. Now we're going to add a little bit of flour here on the counter, just spread it around, take our tuna cheese <laughs> dough ball like that. Now we want these to be about a quarter inch thick. We're just going to pat it out. You obviously could roll this out, but it's not a ton, so I'm just gonna use my hand and pat it out a little bit. Now trying to figure out how we get the shape we want, right? Because we want like a cat treat shape. And so we needed something sort of like a small little punch. And, <laughs> so stupid. And so we're using like a socket because I can like stamp it like that, it'll have the fun little hexagon shape. Uh, and then I can just like poke it with like a toothpick from the back to like let it come loose. So, fingers crossed, I think this is gonna work. And it's about the size of like a normal cat treat. So I'm gonna cut these out and I'm gonna put them over here. I've got a greased baking sheet, you can see. Fingers crossed, this works. Oh yeah. Then we're just gonna like punch this out with the toothpick. We have a little like cat treat sized, well, it's just like a little dough ball, but so is Missy. <laughs> and so I think this is going to work. So now we're just gonna punch out the rest of these. Now, some of you might be watching this video saying, Adam, this video has real Jenna Marbles vibes. And I, I know, I completely agree. In fact, my first thought when I had this idea was I wish this is a video that Jenna could make. <laughs> Alas, our queen is no longer with us. And so you are stuck with me doing this. But if she ever comes back to YouTube, my hope is that she makes a charcuterie board for her dogs because I cannot wait to watch that video. Now, obviously these turned out more like balls than, uh, than crackers. So what I'm gonna do just kinda is flatten them down. I'm just gonna like smush them a little bit like that. Just press them as they of course will. This is working really good. <laughs> that worked great. Let's try that sort of. Put a little bit of flour on your finger. You're so smart, Sherry. Oh, that works way better. I should always listen to you. <laughs> okay, so these are gonna go in the oven. Now the next thing we're gonna make, a little piece of salmon. Obviously she's not gonna get all of this, but I'm gonna bake all of this. And I'm not gonna put anything on this. I'm not gonna put any like salt and pepper or anything like that, obviously, cause she's gonna eat it. And so we're just gonna do straight salmon in the oven. Again, I'm just going to spray just the middle part where the salmon's gonna be because that skin for sure could stick. We're just gonna pull the filet out just like so. And then that is gonna go into the oven for basically the exact same time that's left on the crackers. Definitely the weirdest combination we've ever had in our oven. And we do have a captive audience. You're wondering what is Papa doing? Huh? You're gonna be so excited. I'm feeling really good about this so far. Uh, the crackers, fingers crossed, turn out good. I know the salmon's gonna turn out good. When those come out of the oven, we're gonna let them cool down for a little bit, because obviously we don't want her to have like hot food or anything. But now we're gonna start working on plating because a charcuterie board has to look really good, right? Like it's part of the, is the presentation. So we don't just wanna put a bunch of food on there for her. Uh, we wanna make it look pretty too, because gosh darn it, Missy Leg deserves it. So I went online and I found out that spinach is okay for cats. Spinach is cat friendly. So what we wanna do in order to make like, you know, the board pretty, is we're going to use some spinach as a base layer. So I'm pulling out a few pieces here. We want the pate to be on this bed of like spinach, kind of like that. Now this is the can that it's in, uh, so it would be kind of about that size. And my hope, my hope, is I can get it out of the can, like in one piece so that it looks good, so that it will sit kind of like that. And then we're gonna put one other thing on this bed, but it would be more fancy if it wasn't just like a piece of spinach thrown on there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna cut this like it's a little palm leaf. Look at that, create some like separation there on the side. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Well, okay, maybe not that I've ever done, but that I've done in a long time. The crackers uh, are done and <laughs> I am so excited about this. You guys, this absolutely worked. Like, listen, it is a cracker. Oh <laughs> my God. And we are also taking out our salmon. Now, since this was a greased pan, obviously they're a little bit greasy and I don't want that. So in order for them to cool, I'm just gonna take them 
off. Now we pretty much have everything we need here. Crackers are cooled down. Got a little piece of the salmon cut off. This is gonna be shrimp. This is the crab pieces and then the pate. Now I did smell the crackers and they turned out consistency perfect. They're really hard, but there's like no tuna scent to them. And so I don't necessarily think Missy's gonna love these. So here's my thought. I'm gonna put them in here and I'm gonna see if I can squeeze out just a little bit more like of the tuna oil, like the tuna juice. Because one of the things that Missy loves is when we like take tuna and dump it over her normal food. That smells like, it smells like tuna and cheese. That's so funny. Starting to put these down. Cause you gotta make it fancy, right? Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna stack up our little cat crackers. I will say these are the one thing on here I am doubtful that Missy eats. I don't know why I feel like nervous about this. It's almost like, oh my God, what if she doesn't like it? Like I feel anxious on whether Missy's gonna like her charcuterie sure board. And then I'm thinking we take our little piece of salmon and we go right there. Perfect. Next thing we have is the uh, bay shrimp, just a little pieces of shrimp. So the shrimp, we're just gonna like plate over here. She knows that we are up to something. She just doesn't know what, but you're waiting so patiently. You're being such a good girl. We have the shrimp finished. Coming over here, we have the salmon, we have the crackers. Now we're going to put the crab, like all in this area. So I think for the crab, what we're gonna do is just kind of like cut it in strips like that. And then just obviously we want bite-sized pieces that she can eat. So just sort of like that. So I have a dumb idea. Well, this whole video is a dumb idea, but I was thinking we should do this in like a little M shape for Missy. So that's my plan, make a little M. The crab has been plated and I made it into a little M for Missy because I'm very extra. Now, the last thing we need is the pate, which hopefully will come out of the can and go right in the middle. Okay, so our thought, oh gosh, that's so gross smelling. <laughs> because I want it out in one like whole piece. That's, I don't see this working, but fingers crossed. It does. All right, Sherry. I'm just gonna turn this over and let's see, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, like there. Hey, Oh mostly. my gosh. <laughs> That's pretty good. It is. The last thing we just added here is some catnip sprinkled through there, a little pile over here. And you guys, Missy's charcuterie board is finished. Again, she has the little crab M for Missy. She's got the little baby shrimp down here on the spinach, the little pile of catnip. She has the chicken pate filled with gravy, yum. Actually gross. She has the salmon over here, and then she has the tuna and cheese crackers, and again, more catnip. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Charcuterie board is done. And now the best part of any charcuterie board, whether it's for humans or for cats, the eating of it. Fingers crossed, Missy likes this. And I wanna actually hear from you guys in the comments below. What do you think the first thing she's gonna go for on this charcuterie board? Is it going to be the tuna cheese crackers, the salmon, the pate, the shrimp, the crab, or the catnip? Sherry Beth, what do you think? Mm, I think either the pate or the catnip. I think the pate is my guess. Um, but we'll see, we'll see if she surprises us. Missy girl, you do not even know the joy you are about to experience, you're just like smelling the air. You know something's going on, don't you? You sure do. Missy and I are just hanging out while Sherry puts uh, the charcuterie board on the floor. Missy, do you know what's going on? What are you doing? Missy, over here. She like, <laughs> she smells stuff. Missy girl, are you ready for this? The time has come. She's purring so loud. For you to eat. Maybe the very first charcuterie board ever. Did you guys hear her purring? Charcuterie board. Charcuterie board. Missy. Here we go. The moment of truth. Missy, what do you think? What if she just walks away? What is she going for? Just sniffing everything out. Okay. What do you think? Oh, going for the salmon. What? Wow. Oh, catnip. Catnip. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Going wins. for the catnip. She's actually, she seems to be a fan of the salmon. 
Yeah. Which surprises me a little bit. What do you think? Are you done? She's That's kind of, it? She's kind of unsure. She didn't even explore the other side of the board. Oh, back to the salmon, just from the other side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know that there's crab and shrimp, like, over here, right? It's even in the shape of an M. Like, that's you. That's Missy. Okay. okay, she's rubbing her face on it. This is okay. This is taking a turn that I did not expect. Okay. Oh, Missy, okay. don't rub your face on the salmon. Okay, we did not think about this. <laughs> um, okay. What are you, doing, what are you doing? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, that was sweet. She just came and rubbed her face on the camera. It's another salmon all over the camera. It's camp. another salmon all over the camera. Okay, what are you doing? Are you just high at this point from catnip? Well, cat charcuterie board, charcuterie board success? I don't know. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Uh, she did eat the salmon, loved the salmon, didn't guess that. And then she just like rubbed her face all over everything, which was not something that I imagined happening. She never went to the shrimp. She never went to the crab. She never even really ate the pate. She took like a couple little nibbles of it, but it was definitely the salmon and the catnip that she was the most drawn to. This was a ton of fun. Of course, it's different than anything we've ever done before, but I thought, you know what? I wanted something that was just like, I don't know, mindless and pointless and fun and made our cat happy. And gosh darn it, I think this did. So friends, thanks so much for watching Leg Live. We love you so much. Thanks for being a part of our community and we will see you on the next video.